absolutely horrified. Ballerina Bob's son. <sighs> the legend lives on. But we're going to put an end to it right now. This guy's, um, he's feeding unaware at about 2.50 at the moment. Uh, we're going to put a hold of him, take him out of the equation. We don't want shit like that in air breeding. So we're going to do that right now. James is the man. Okay, there's a uh, red stag in our seeker block that's walking up towards this management seeker, Ballerina Bob's son. And uh, red stags in our seeker block are unacceptable. So we're going to shoot him first, and then we're going to try for the seeker. So with a bit of luck, we'll get them both. <laughs> James is on the gun, so I reckon it's very doable. Here we go. He's getting ready to shoot right now. <laughs> now that is some fantastic culling. This red stag we were watching come up the hill. He came right up to the seeker that we wanted to cull. And James just whacked both of them. <laughs> Red out of our seeker block, so no longer a problem. Over here on this face opposite me, about 240 yards. Well, mate, there's a bit of a uh, bit of strafing for you. <laughs> um, I've already got a load in my pack, mate. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's uh, been a good afternoon. We've got uh, three beautiful hinds here, and um, we've certainly got our work cut out for us now. Got an awful lot of really nice meat to take home with us. Okay, we've, uh, we've got a roaring stag down here, roaring red, so we're going to do a little uh, management control and take this red out of the uh, seeker breeding equation. Yeah, he's still down, he's 150 yards. Absolutely. Yeah. Hit him right here on the shoulder. Good boy. Top shot. Good effort, eh? 
he's the man, eh? Two in one day. Excellent. There's not much I can say. Two in one morning. That's fantastic. One. There's a big four-pointer over here. That's quite a mature animal. Um, he's been ruling the roost. Doesn't know we're here. We're gonna put the herd on him. Try and take him out of the uh, gene pool equation. You up for the shot there, big fella? Absolutely. <laughs> it's about 280 yards. We've been laying here for a while. We're totally relaxed. The deer don't know we're here. Everything's gonna happen here pretty quick. Well, did a nice shot on this uh, big what I call management stag. He'll go nicely in the pot, although he's been doing a fair bit of rutting. But he's got a magnificent cape on him, which I'll be taking to uh, mount another one of my trophies. Okay, David and I have uh, slept out this morning, kind of chilly this morning. We've snuck in on a uh, eight-point red stag. He's down here about 150 yards. David's uh, having a bit of trouble seeing him at the moment, but the stag doesn't know he is, so there's no hurry. It's only a matter of time, so uh, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully he'll make a good shot. And the lift is in, maybe turn. Shoot him right in the shoulder. Hang on a minute, wait till he lifts his head. I'll, I'll roar at him again. Uh... <laughs> I'm just absolutely stoked to get something with some antlers and some nice, nice eating that we can take home in a beautiful, beautiful environment. It's all good. Cheers, Brian. Appreciate that.